Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to build our fifth forming control, which is the checkbox group component. The implementation of this component is very similar to the radio buttons component we implemented in the last video. And since I have covered in detail how that works, in this video, we are for the most part going to copy paste the code from the previous video and focus only on the changes. So if you haven't watched the video on radio buttons component, I highly recommend you watch that first before proceeding with this video. All right, in the UI, a checkbox group form a control would look like this. There are again, three distinct elements, a form label, which is nothing but a label HTML element, a form input, which is the field component from formic, and finally, the field error, which is the error message component, again from Formic. The field though is a list of HTML input and label elements, which allows you to make one or more selections. And this is a key difference from the radio buttons component. Radio buttons is single selection, whereas checkbox group is multi-selection. This has to be considered when creating our component. Next, let's take a look at the props that would be required to implement a checkbox group. First and foremost, we set the control prop to checkbox, which is required to determine the type of formic control we need to render. Second, we need a label prop, which will be the label text for the form field. Third, we pass in the all important name prop, which is required by formic for the field as well as the error message components. Another essential prop is the options prop, which is basically an array of objects. Each object will contain key value pairs, which we will use to render the individual checkboxes for the component. All right, with this UI and props in mind, let's write the code. We're going to implement this formic control again in three simple steps. However, the steps are going to be in the reverse order to what we have seen so far. I felt that for this video, the reverse order makes more sense. So first step, we write code in the formic container component, which is our starting point. Second step, we write the code in the formic control component. Third and final step, we write the code in a new component specific to the field type which in our case is the checkbox group component. So let's begin with step one. In the forming container component, I'm going to create a new set of options. Since the options are similar to the radio options, I'm going to copy paste the radio options and make the changes. Copy and paste it. Change the constant to checkbox options. And the value is going to be C option one, C option two, and C option three. Next, let's add a property to the initial values object. This is going to be checkbox option. And the initial value is an empty array. This is a really important point to keep in mind. A checkbox group control lets you pick multiple values. We store the list of values in an array. Initially, no value will be selected and hence the initial value is an empty array. Next, we add a validation to this field. Since this is an array, the validation would be checkbox option is going to be yup dot array dot required. And the error message remains the same required. Now for the last part of step one, we include a new formic control component in our form. So formic control and let's add the props. First and foremost, we need to specify what kind of control is this component. So we say control is equal to checkbox. After that, we pass in the label prop which is equal to the string checkbox topics. 
and then the all important name prop. This again is the string checkbox option. We then add the options prop, which is equal to the constant checkbox options. Format it, and that completes our step one. For the second step, we add code in the formic control component. We don't have the checkbox group component yet, but let's add the code assuming that we do. So at the top, make a copy of the import and change the import to checkbox group from checkbox group. And then for the case checkbox, we're going to return the same component, passing in rest of the props. That is step number two. The final step is to create this checkbox group component. So in the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called checkboxgroup.js. Now this component is 90% identical to the radio buttons component. So I'm going to copy paste the code and make the necessary changes. So from the radio buttons component, copy and paste the code. The first change is the component name. Change it to checkbox group. Second change, change the type attribute to checkbox. The last change, we modify the condition for the checked attribute. Checked is equal to field.value.includes within parentheses option.value. We now basically check if the value for the checkbox is present in the array of values for this entire field. If it is present, checked is set to true. All right, that was our third and final step. Now let's save all the files and test this component in the browser. On page load, we have our checkboxes along with the labels. If I try to submit the form, I get the required validation error. I fill in the form. Click on submit and you can see the values, including the one for our group of checkboxes. At the moment, we have checked only one box. Hence, the submitted value is an array with one value. If I check all the three boxes, and submit, you can see that we have an array with all the three values. Our checkbox forming control works as expected. Again, if you have questions about the logic of this render props function we have in our component, please refer to the video on radio buttons where we have talked about it in detail. But for now, this is pretty much how you create a reusable checkbox formic control with formic in react thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one